Holy hell, what's going on, Covert Cafe? How y'all doing? <laughs> uh, that's my favorite thing to do, teach white people how to clap. All right, this is, feels good. Welcome to Blow and Smoke, a comedy showcase. Every second Saturday, we have some, uh, some good comics on this lineup coming up to this stage. Um, but a round of applause uh, if uh, this is your first time at a, at a show, a comedy show. Oh, <laughs> little round of applause. There it goes. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I, I say this to all the newbies. Uh, comedy is a lot like sex. Okay. We need the both of us. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what it is. All right. <laughs> because uh, the comics coming to the stage is going to give it 110 percent. Okay. So what we ask for you guys is uh, to give us some um, some energy as well. Some you know some laughter, some clapter. Okay. We just want you to leave a little bit sweaty. That's all it is. All right. Right. <laughs> Tell your friends that this is a lot dirtier than we thought it was going to be. That's, that's the kind of night we're going to have, okay? Uh, but heckling is a lot like anal. Don't do it, okay? That's what I'm saying, right? right? Treat us like cats here, okay? Just let us rub on your leg. Let us get drunk. Let us be like, I've never done this before, okay? And then when we leave, just leave us alone. That's it, <laughs> right? Uh, but we're going to have a good time. Clap it up for the Joes back there cranking out stuff, stuff. Yes. All right, give it up to other Joe uh, for supporting Black History Month, okay? <laughs> Rocking the daishiki back there. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. You see, me and him, that, he did that for us. He did that for us, okay? That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not, not going to fuck with you two all, all night, I promise. I promise. But you, you two look like how I'm going to end up, okay? I'm also, I'm also dating a white. <laughs> that's a weird way to say it. <laughs> white. She's 100%. She's like 100% white. She's like, you know, pumpkin spice white. Like, you know, gingerbread you know, like build a gingerbread on Christmas, like that kind of white, right? But like now, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of, like I'm putting a little bit of hood in her, which is, is great. It feels good, okay? Because she'll say certain hood things in like, in, in white sentences, or I should say hood sentences in white frames. She, she, she looked at me and she was like, I'm gonna fuck around and find out about this Joanne's fabrics right now. Like that's... That's what it is now. It feels good. I'm like, <laughs> I feel I feel it. You wasn't saying that before you met me. It's good, right? Uh, but she's putting a little white in me because I was like, Joanne's fabric sounds fun. Let's go. Like, so um, I'm working on myself. Yep. <laughs> just, that's still feel good. I just had a, I had a birthday. I just turned 30, guys. Yep. Seven years ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird because I'm still lying about my age. I'm 38, okay? That's what I'm saying, all right? But I, I've been getting realizations that I've been getting older, okay? I've been like, for instance, like I, um, I replaced the condom in my wallet for lactate. That's, that's the kind of guy I am now because it's uh, just more likely that I'll meet a cheese that I can't resist than to have a one-night stand, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and I get four of them. I get four of them just, just in case I meet a good-looking Brie. That's, that's where I'm at right now, right? Like, I, I'm at this age where, like, I'm having a hard time swallowing pills, okay? It, it affects my gag reflex, okay? I can't, I can't do it anymore. And it's fucked up. It's fucked up because I always thought, like, in my heart of hearts, like, in my heart of hearts, that if I had to, I could suck some good dick. Like, I, I thought, like, you know, like, back against the wall, if I, if I had to, I would, I'd be dope with this. Like, I would... <laughs> Right, like <laughs> I would just empty the balls, give that dick a twenty-one gun salute. Like I was gonna be cocky with it, right? And like <laughs> you better, you better not. But no, no. When I when I put the when I put the pill in my in my mouth and I just go <gasps> like I. It's one thing to not want to suck dick. It's another thing to know that I I can't. I will be dog shit at this. Like this is upsetting. This is upsetting to me. It's upsetting to me. It's uh, yeah, that's that's weird. That's that's about right for that joke to kind of trail off right there. <laughs> like, sounds like you probably should try and suck dick. I don't know. That's okay. All right. I made a lot of eye contact with you, sir. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm in, I'm in a weird uh, age of my life too, where I'm starting to get like advice, like stock advice, right? And I get it. I don't get it from the right people. I, I want the old whites to, to give me this, but I get it from like middle-aged white dudes who just bought stock, okay? Talk about cocky, you know what I mean? Like it's just, they walk right up to me, right? And they're just like, hey, Jarrell. I'm lying, they call me Jamal and it hurts, okay? It hurts right here, <laughs> right? And they're like, did you know if, if you bought Amazon stock back in 2000, you know how much money you have right now? And I'm like, no. 
<laughs> it's in the past, okay? It doesn't affect me right now. We're in the present, okay? That's what I'm saying. And he's like, no, you need to understand the math of it. I'm like, no, Tyler, you need to understand physics. <laughs> I can't go back in time. But if I could go back in time, right? First thing I'm doing is not fucking with stocks, okay? That's not the first thing I'm doing, okay? The first thing I'm doing, number one thing, DeLorean right in front of me, I'm going back in time and recasting the Cosby show so I can have a father again. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a deep cut a little bit, but uh, I'm just saying if Cuba Gooding Jr. was Cliff Huxtable, we still hate it, okay? <laughs> but for different reasons, you know, that's what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> but the next thing I'm doing, the next immediate thing that I'm doing is I'm going back in time to a time that I was 18 years old and I'm bullying that fucking kid. Dumbass kid, spending $90,000 on a theater arts degree. Yeah, massage therapy minor, okay? You know how much massage I know? Zero, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? And this dumb little kid, this dumb little kid will walk down the streets of New York, okay? And go to an ATM, take out cash money, and then fan himself just singing dumbass songs like 50 Cent's I Get Money. Just, I get money, money is God, I get it, I get money, money is God, I get it. I will bully that motherfucking kid. I will also rob him, too. <laughs> I don't know if you know about me and, and my general style, but I just have a very robbable personality, okay? <laughs> right? I was robbed by somebody's imagination once. That's, that's what happened. I was, I was 15 years old at the time. I was with my best friend, David Kane. We were just hanging out on the, on the block, right? You know, doing what kids do at 15 years old, right? And this kid comes up to me. He's just like, hey, motherfucker, give me all your money. I'm from the Bloods and the Crips. To which I was like, how did you get into both gangs? That's impressive. <laughs> Right? <laughs> right? You know what you told me? He was like, because I got a bat that turns into an axe in my backpack. <laughs> yeah. But I got scared, okay? I got scared, okay? I gave him all my money, okay? I gave him my bus pass. I gave him, uh, yeah, that's how old I am. Sorry. <laughs> I said bus pass on stage. Okay. All right. I gave him my money. I gave him lint in my other pocket, okay? Because why not? He has x-ray vision probably because he has a bat that turns into an axe in his backpack, right? In my, my back pocket, in my back pocket, I had a Butterfinger, okay? I had a crispy, crunchy, peanut buttery Butterfinger that I, I sat on and broke into four places, but I still was going to eat it. And if you know anything about that commercial, right, the, the, the one phrase that they say, right, Bart Simpson says it, you better not lay a finger. That's right, and this fucking kid took his finger and his thumb and pointed at me like a gun and I gave him that shit. I felt bad, okay? He takes a thumb too, that's what the commercial doesn't tell you. That's what I'm saying, okay? And for, for a week, for a week it just didn't sit well with me. Like, it just, it just didn't sit well with me. I just, I looked at the future best man to my wedding, right? My best friend, I was like, I bet he didn't even have a bat that turns to an ax <laughs> in his backpack. And this best friend looked at me in the face, and he was like, he didn't even have a backpack. I don't even know what the fuck you were doing, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of guy I am, okay? That's what I'm saying. And it's, it's crazy because, like, last week, I went to a 7-Eleven, right? And I, I was looking at, I, was, I, got, I got a king-size Butterfinger, and I was like, yeah, I bet this blood crib would take this one. I still think he's in both games, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how I want to land this plane. Um... <laughs> Fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm um, not what you would consider an aggressive sexual. Um, I'm more attentive, okay? I'm more attentive, talkative. Um, giggly, okay? I'm a giggly kind of lover. That's what I'm saying. If you tickle me, I giggle, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? But I'm also happy that we're doing this. Thank you for putting me in, coach. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really happy we're being here. That's what I'm saying. I'm bubbly. I'm a bubbly kind of lover. That's what I'm saying. Um, but that's just because of the lactose intolerance. Um, what I'm really saying, guys, what I'm really saying is that if you want me to choke you in the bedroom, I won't like it, but I'll do it, okay? I'll do it. That's a weird time to get out the bathroom, too, by the way. <laughs> right? Because I'm a team player, okay? If that's what gets you there, that's what I'm willing to do to you. That's what I'm willing to do because I'm a team player. But what you cannot do to me is make me watch 12 hours of crime TV before you ask me to choke you till you turn blue. And then call me a bitch when I'm giving you two-week squeezes. I'm just checking in, okay? Right? That's like the equivalent of if I make you watch Roots. Right? You look right at her, right? And I make you call me Toby in the bedroom, right? That would be weird. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna change your life right now, dude. Like, yes, do that shit. Okay, we love it. Uh, I have a weird slavery fantasy too, but the way he looked at you, he probably has the same one. Okay, what it is, all right? You know, it just like you just right. What you do, right? I'm not making you watch 12 Years a Slave to do this, right? No, I'm not doing it. I'm just showing up to your apartment complex, okay, with a tattered shirt and my dick hanging out, and I'll just be like, I have to meet you in the bedroom, Miss Stephanie, <laughs> okay? And your line is, fuck me before my father gets home from the plantation, you slave. Eat this box for your freedom, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? And then we'll give it back to you, right? We'll call you a cracker ass cracker, you white devil. You know, we'll, we'll tussle. We'll tussle in the bedroom, okay? All right? If you're on top, just want you to growl at me, okay? Just growl at me like, Grr! you know, like with the hard R, okay? Like Tony the Tiger, like they're great, okay? And then I just want you to let yourself go, okay? Treat me, treat my dick and just grab it just to be like, I have your meat, okay? And then when I finish, I just yell, freedom! <sighs> like Amistad, okay? Try it next time uh, when you when you get home. It's fun. Um, okay, <laughs> with this weird energy, are we ready to start this comedy show, guys? Yeah. yeah.